on your screen, you should be looking at the model example of the conclusion. We talked about this model example yesterday in quite detail. But today, I'd like to turn it over to looking at more student examples. Uh, hopefully yesterday you had an opportunity to do some writing. Maybe you did some writing over last time. I would like to take a volunteer group that is not yet provided theirs. Okay, we'll start with Maria. Maria, which letter are you? E or D? D. Maria and Chan changed their research question slightly yesterday to better fit their research. And that was just fine for me because you're learning how to write research questions as well as research them. What are the people in America doing about food choices? Okay, so they're focusing on food choices. Let's start, and I want everybody looking at theirs, just with basic formatting. I love that they did Times New Roman, or I'm sorry, Arial 14 point font. That's what I'd like. I'd also like a one space there, but only one space between that. So it should look like that. Then down here for the conclusion, we're using block formatting for this, and that means that we have extra spaces and no tabs. Remember, that's how my model example looked. We're doing this, by the way, because this is uh, this will become a website after the break. You're going to make your own websites, and it's easier to work with this way. Today, the people in America are trying to stop bad eating habits by... Apologize for that. Today, the people in America are trying to stop that... Stop R. What is that? The stop R. Delete there. And then type R, A R E. There we go. Today, the people in America are trying to stop bad eating habits by trying to make new laws about lowering the amount of unhealthy foods. And laws should be only in S, not apostrophe S. Some Americans are making new laws about banning trans fat foods. Although some Americans are not doing anything about their bad eating. My first question, and I'm going to ask this of all of you, Sammy, you'll have time to work. My first question is, do they seem to indicate what their subsequent paragraphs will be about clearly? Do they have a couple of main ideas? Remember my model example? We discussed how it was very clear that I was talking about two issues, positive prevention and negative punishment. And you could see really clearly that I would have two developing paragraphs, one about positive approaches, the other about negative approaches. So can we ask that question about Maria and Chance? Do they seem to have clear ideas? And if so, what are they? Erica. How? New law seems to be one idea, right? I agree with you. No apostrophe S on that. Excellent. Erica's got one. New laws lowering the amount of trans fats and other unhealthy foods. That seems to be one paragraph. And is that correct, Maria? That will be one of your paragraphs? What's the second paragraph about? No, you know. I know you know too. What's the second paragraph about? No, we already got the new laws. That's the first paragraph. Check. We just said that we already have that one. The new laws. People that just continue to eat poorly. People that do nothing. So we have two ideas. One is the idea of making new laws. The other is people that don't do anything about their bad eating. Maria has shown me very clearly that through her research, she has discovered two facts. One, some people want to make this a legal issue. Two, some people don't care and don't do anything about it. 
she's, she will write one paragraph about the first topic, one paragraph about the second topic, her conclusion, and she's done. So it's a clear answer, and I like it. There are some Americans making new laws to stop bad eating habits. Aside from the fact that I don't like the word there, there are. Take that off, and then capitalize the sum, and then make it some Americans are making new laws to stop bad eating habits. Clear topic sentence. Maria has a great structure going. Let's see if she continues it. First, transition for her first example. California, New York, Philadelphia have made a new law that has banned trans fats from restaurants. Also, New York Mayor Michael Bloomberg has tried or is trying, this is awkward, to stop restaurants from selling sodas larger than 16 ounces. She's doing a really good job. Why? Because she has a clear topic sentence that relates to her main idea. One article summary example, two article summary examples. Does the article talk about what happened with Bloomberg's initiative to ban 16-ounce sodas? No, I think they didn't make that much of a Okay, because it did fail. Um, that didn't work out for, for New York. Each article summary should be one or two sentences and should relate to the topic sentence. Um, look at that first sentence, or that first detail. First, California, New York, Philadelphia have made a new law that has banned trans fat from restaurants. Nathan, does that relate to her topic sentence? Yes, because they're both talking about laws, right? Good. Also, New York Mayor Michael Bloomberg has tried or is trying to stop restaurants from selling sodas larger than 16 ounces. Uh, Sydney, does that last sentence there about New York Major Mayor Michael Bloomberg, does that relate to her topic sentence? Yes. Not incredibly clear, however, impl no, no, you're right, it does. Sydney, but I'm saying that you probably paused because there's nothing in that sentence that says law or legal. So you might say that Bloomberg was trying to illegalize or ban. That would make it a legal issue and make everything very clear. Maria's structure is sound. Her approach is excellent. If she continues with the same approach throughout the entire conclusion, everything that follows will be clear as well. One more example. Nathan, what's your group letter? By the way, if you do not see your example up here on the screen today, do not forget that my job over the break is to proof each and every one of yours, so you'll get feedback from me. What are the current issues or problems with professional sports salaries? Okay. Today, athletes have different ideas about how to use their money. They make bad choices with it, and some are getting paid a lot of money. Those are their choices, and some are being punished for those choices. So, what are the problems? According to their first paragraph, what are their answers to that question? Okay, so these guys read about professional sports salaries and found out that players just blow their money. They make bad choices. Is that correct, guys? Good. So that's a paragraph. Connor, what's the other idea? Sure, but that's all about the choice thing, right? How do I use my money? I think there's another idea in there. Does anybody see the other idea that could be another paragraph? Yeah, they're getting paid ridiculous amounts of money, right? Did you find articles about that, too? Them getting paid tons of money? I will rewrite your topic sentence a little bit to make those two ideas a bit clearer.
go. Now, what I've done is made very clear the two ideas. Your first paragraph should clearly identify the answers to your question. I'm thinking that you probably have more than one. These gentlemen have two. I had two. Maria and Chan had two. So that will give you more to work with. You might have three and find yourself with three subsequent paragraphs. Write a sentence that makes those ideas clear. There are many different story, interesting stories about this topic. Here are the bad things athletes do with their money. This first bit. Doesn't really say much. What bad things do athletes do with their money? How? Don't pay their taxes less. Buy stuff. I think that's a little bit clearer. Good. Uh, no questions. That Are they guilty? I don't want to see a question in here. You're reporting. You're not asking me questions. You're reporting these facts. That's a little bit clearer. Okay. So that's about all I'm going to do with model examples today. Topic sentence clearly answers your question. Gives an indication of what your paragraph structure will be. Topic sentence in the paragraph, and then example after example of articles. Use Maria's as an idea of how you can do this really quickly and clearly. Her two sentences, summarizing two articles, were exceptionally clear and very relevant to her paragraph topic. That's what I'm looking for. You'll see that mine did the same thing, and these gentlemen are on their way with the uh, same structure. So that's working very well. Any last questions? Okay, um, freely available to answer questions. You guys will want to make sure that you understand how you're working together. Remember this and all those sources, that source list of 10, both are due tomorrow.